I really want to film a video today, but I wasn't sure what to film, so I put up an Instagram story, and th somebody replied to something I've been meaning to do, and I didn't have the right, like, title for it. I've been meaning to do a video, like, things I used to eat to see if they're still good, like gushers and like that, so I think this is the perfect way to do that. Uh, her name was C Woodstock 21. I thank you for like putting that all into a succinct little idea for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna film that, so I will see you guys back here in a little bit. <gasps> Hi guys, look at us go, mama. We're gonna have a very fun video today. I'm super excited. A lot of the foods that I had as a kid, I still like now and I know that because I still make them all the time. Like you you guys have seen all the videos that my dead dad's kitchens are about. Like this one and this one and this one and this one. Like that's what I have grew up eating pretty much. But there were little things obviously like when you're a kid, you get other things that you're excited about. And so today I wanted to film a video trying all those things, trying some of the things that I don't make anymore more and I'm super hyped. Uh, I did not drink Red Bull as a kid but I do now. Only when I film videos or I'm about to go out for the night. But that hasn't happened in six months. First up is just Frosted Flakes. Now I know you're gonna be like you know what Frosted Flakes taste like and the answer is you're right to your non-question. But I haven't had like a bowl of Frosted Flakes for breakfast in a hundred years. Fun fact a bowl of Frosted Flakes was the first thing I had after my dad died. Per oh my god. Okay, perfect amount of milk. My mom is so weird. She puts in like a teaspoon of milk in her cereal. Okay, let's go. Oh, they're much daintier than I remember. Oh my god, yum, dude. Oh my god, these are so good. Of course, it's just corn covered in sugar. I'll tell you what, dude, it's like very rare I just have a bowl of cereal anymore. For no particular reason, I just never really end up getting all the stuff. All the stuff. Two things. I'm gonna give this... Mmm. I guess I'm rating it also. Didn't know that. Alright, I'm gonna give this... Eight Dragon Tails. Mmm! Wrong. I'm gonna give this eight Big Comfy Couches. That was my favorite show. Leave in the comments what your favorite show was as a kid. I would love to know that because I, mine were Reading Between the Lions, Big Comfy Couch, uh, Dragon Tales, Power Rangers, The Simpsons. I watched The Simpsons from a, a, maybe probably far too young age. Futurama. So, oh, bitch, Sesame Street, f***ing Oscar the Grouch, bitch, Grover, bitch, Big Bird. Me. So leave in the comments what yours was. If you're not from like California or the United States and like I wouldn't know what show it is because sometimes like on East Coast they have different- Oh and Mr. Rogers. Ugh. On like the East Coast they have different shows in you know Mexico they have different shows in Canada they have different shows Ireland different shows. So leave me what your favorite show is as a kid and like what it was about because I would love to know. The next thing I feel like every parent was like a raisin parent. <laughs> have raisins. They're like candy. No they're not mom. Oh god, and they always f***ing stick. I got two. I have two raisins. Ugh. They're so gross. You know what I did love though? Craisins. But I, like, I still eat craisins. I haven't had a raisin. Oh god, that smells like second grade lunch. Oh! Wow, I made such a big hullabaloo about how shitty raisins are. I love raisins. No, I don't love them. They're chine. They're jet. I really thought I was gonna be like, ew, I hate these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other five boxes I had to get of these. Or the rest of this box. <laughs> but they're okay. Let's do this one. Okay. <laughs> this one's really weird. Can y'all see? Oh, gross! Ugh. Oh, I gotta clean that. That's gonna... I'll be right back. Okay, the downside was I spilled all of juice all over my floor, but now my floor is clean. So, always find the silver lining. My parents both loved olives. Uh, well, my dad loved olives. My mom still loves olives. And <laughs> so we just always had these. I would just open a can of olives. And I don't really, mm, I don't really snack on them much anymore because I like forget how good they are. It smells like olive juice. Do you guys remember in like middle school when you would like look at people across the classroom, like you'd look at your crush and be like, and then later at like nutrition or whatever, recess, they'd be like, did you say I love you? And you'd be like, no, I said olive juice. Stupid. Did you do that? Leave also leave that in the comments. Oh, I mean, wait. 
hold on. <laughs> Low key, my parents used to never let me paint my nails black, so I used to put on black olives and pretend like I had black nails. <laughs> Let's do a main core. Actually, we'll do this. Core nuts. These were sold at my middle school, like, snack shack, student store thing. And I just thought they were so f***ing good. But then when I thought about them and, like, really looked at them, I'm like, there's no way these can taste good. Ooh, very hard. Can you hear that? Of course you can hear it. It sounds like I'm biting f***ing dried pasta. They're very salty, which is nice. Very crunchy. Oh, fuck, I've just stopped rating things. What have I tried? Raisins get four big comfy couches. Olives get 10 big comfy couches. Half of my audience just dipped. They were like, you cannot give olives 10 big comfy couches. Yes, I can. It's my channel. Please don't go. Corn nuts, si mm, five big comfy couches. Very hard. God forbid you just got dental work. Now we're gonna move on to something that my brother and I used to fight over all the time. Peanut butter, Ritz bits. I don't know if these are actually good. I know I love Ritz and I know they don't wanna work with me. And I also love peanut butter and I can't get mad at anyone about peanut butter. So let's try. Oh, I forgot this weird brown bag. Oh, I love it. So my brother loves peanut butter. Has always, always, always loved peanut butter. And so when my mom would get these, they would go very, very quickly. These were one of the few name brand things we would get. It was very exciting. Let's give these a little looky-loo. Very lopsided, which is sort of cute. And then it's it's like a classic Ritz just baby, which I love. Oh, wow, my nails look like <laughs> How much peanut butter is in here? Not a lot of PB, my guy. Hmm, oh, hmm, hmm. Wow, those are not that good. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Are they yummy? Obviously. Are they a good snack? Of course. Is there a game on the back that I kind of want to play? What if that was the video? Oh my God. What if I did all of the things on the back of boxes? <laughs> Okay, I need you guys to stick with me for one second. Something in my brain said, yeah, do that. And I need to know what that thing is. Spin a coin to figure out your moves. One move ahead for heads, two moves ahead for tails. Correct me if I'm wrong. You should be saying flip a coin. That's weird. And then it says flip here. Anyway, six dragon tails. Hello? Oh my God, I loved this so f much. And we would only be able to get it when it was like crazy on sale, like a dollar each or like 89 cents each. Oh, this is yo crunch. I love Yo Crunch. Well, I think I love Yo Crunch a whole lot. The whole goof of it is, is that it's yogurt with like fun on top. So we've got just plain vanilla yogurt, yum, yum, yum. Now we take our M&Ms and sprinkle those in. Now it's always fun because you get to, it's like a McFlurry vibe. You mix this up and then all the color from the M&M gets into the yogurt, which is probably gross <laughs> because there's so much food coloring on them, but I don't care. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's bad. Oh, guys. It's not very good yogurt. And I would also rather just have M&Ms. Also, like, look at the color of this now. Wow, God, is this what being an adult is? Because it's sad. We're gonna move on to the thing I'm probably most excited about, a bologna sandwich. <laughs> And you're probably thinking, Irene, why are you most excited about a bologna sandwich? The thing is, is my dad just always used to make us these. So like bologna's cheap, white bread's cheap, mustard's cheap, and it's all delicious. It's just a couple of slices of bologna on white bread. And for some reason, I just used to love it. I used to save this sandwich in my lunch until after school. And then my dad would pick me up and my brother's middle school got out like 15, 20 minutes after my elementary school did. And I would, oh God, why am I such a weird kid. I would go into the back of my dad's van in the trunk, huddle up and open my sandwich and eat it. So I just have like such fond memories. Okay. Oh my God, it's still so good. Oh wow, I miss my dad so much. <laughs> Christ. Mm. 
I was so scared it was gonna be bad. Mm. Mm. This makes me so happy. This is it though, guys. Like, this is why I do what I do. Like, food brings back memories. Food brings back so many things and it's such a beautiful way to connect with people that are around you or people that aren't anymore. And I just think that that's amazing. Like, this sandwich literally brings me back to like, when I was five and my dad and I would like go run errands together. We come home and have this. Love. And don't forget, we cut it down the middle because why? We love we love rich. We're not rich, yes, thank you. Now we're gonna move on to another thing we always had in my house and I think it's because these might be my mom's favorite chips and I always remember being very excited about them but when I think about the flavor, I'm like, why would I like that? So it's the chili cheese Fritos. So let's give it a shot. Ooh. Oh, shit. my bologna sandwich was 15 big comfy couches, of course. Holy crap, mom. Oh my god. Yo, for real? This tastes like chili cheese on a friggin' Frito. It's like a Frito pie. And if you don't know what a Frito pie is, first of all, so sorry for your loss of knowledge. Second of all, it's normal Fritos covered in chili and cheese. Mmm. 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 Upon eating more than six, they're very salty. Yeah, these are like very good for a minute. I don't think I could have too many of these. These are seven big comfy couches. Is that a dumb rating system? We're gonna move on to the thing that I thought made you a cool, rich, hot, popular girl, which was having a Lunchable. This was my favorite, was the pepperoni pizza. And every once in a while, they would be like a dollar or a couple of dollars at the store for the big ones that had like a drink in it too. Ooh. Tell you what, doesn't smell good. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get nine pepperoni, you get three, flatbreads, I don't want to call these crusts. You get a, a tablespoon of cheese <laughs> and a packet of sauce. I remember vividly, one time in first grade, I brought Lunchables. I'm like legit gonna get upset. In my first grade class, we had one of those big red buckets with the white rope handles. You remember? We all had to put our lunch bags in there for some reason, I don't know why. So everyone put their lunch bag in, so there'd be like a Dora bag and like a Sesame Street bag and a brown bag and a blah blah blah. And like if people got Lunchables and that's all they brought, there'd be like a box with Lunchables. You'd put your name on it, end of story. Or so I thought. One day, <sighs> One day, I brought a Lunchable. Remember, it was very rare that I had Lunchables. I would say maybe once a month, I got a Lunchable. And I would be f***ing hyped. Rightfully so. You guys get it. And so, I would, I was so, so, so excited. I gotta put this down. Blah, 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 triangles, two plus two, four, science, nine planets, eight now. But when I was in school, there were nine. <laughs> ring, ring, lunchtime. Everyone scrambles to get their lunch. Oh. None of these left in here are my Lunchable. Who has my fucking Lunchable? So I go to the teacher and I say, I, 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 uh, Someone stole my fucking Lunchable. Didn't say fucking. And I didn't put that much emphasis in it. Anyway, she said, I don't know, Irene. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing I can do. I was like, wow, fuck you. <sighs> then I get out onto the fucking playground and I see this bitch, Jessica, eating my fucking Lunchable. And I swear, if I had taken the steps that I wanted to take, I think I would have turned into a very different person. But I said, you know what? Fine, maybe she wanted it, maybe she needed it, maybe she didn't have lunch, whatever, fine. So I let it go. And that was the first step I took into being a good person. I'll never forget it. So. You have your little crust, your little flatbread, put about a third of your sauce. I always spread it out with the thing, which I recognize is maybe gross. It's like, you, it's a pretty herbaceous sauce, honestly, which I know sounds silly, but like you can see the fucking oregano and shit in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some cheese. There's so little cheese. They give you three pepperoni. Dude, if fucking first grade Irene was seeing me now, just like going to the store and buying whatever I wanted, she'd shit her pants. Well, she'd probably piss her pants. I also pissed my pants a lot when I was a kid. Oops, <laughs> exposed. Okay, so I have my cheese and my pepperoni. I don't want another olive incident. So there you go, that's the best look. This really tastes like elementary school lunch. Like, I feel like I'm about to go back in and like be lied to about what happened with Christopher Columbus. Oh, I did not think I would finish this. Oh my God, am I gonna have another one? The bread is very bad. However, okay, this is very surprising. The sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni are not the worst I've ever had, honestly. Mm. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Low key, that pepperoni and cheese is not bad. 
I mean, nine out of 10 big comfy couches, I gotta be real with you. Next one, that I also thought was a cool, hot, rich girl thing to have, Gushers. I know we were all scarred, but, oh, they're in plastic now. They used to be in this weird, like, paper with foil on the inside. Do you guys remember that? We all remember how weird the Gushers commercials were. Little hexagonal candies filled with goo. They're supposed to be filled with goo. Oh, that tastes bad. Oh my God, there's like no gush anymore. Very little. Um, these are not good. And here's why. They're too sticky. They taste sort of uh, chemically, you know? Five big comfy couches. In conjunction with that, I wanted to get some SpongeBob fruit snacks also. We were a big fruit snack house. Like my brother and I would crush these. Now, if you guys are fruit snack vibes like I am, you'll remember shark gummies. They did not have any at the store. I don't know if they still make them. Um, and sh the shark gummies were the superior texture. They weren't like Mike and Ikey, like they weren't sticky and they weren't so chewy like um, gummy vitamins. They were like right in the middle. It was sort of like Welch's fruit snacks, but like a little sweeter. I got a Patrick. Oh, no, bad texture, too sticky. Oh, oh, I hate it, I hate it. Terrible. Um, okay, last one, no, two more. I thought this was like the cool person thing to like. My brother liked gummy, sour gummy worms, so I was like, I also like sour gummy worms. And then my mom, the saint that she is, used to get the like seven pound bag from Costco. It was chill as hell. Now, everyone's favorite is the pink and blue, fine. For all of you fools who like that one, but say that grape candy isn't good. You're eating grape. It's strawberry and grape. They are sour though. But I've told you guys before, I don't like live for sour. Wow. I didn't know that trolley slogan was. They'll make you say, crawl into my belly. So why do I pick, keep picking the orange one? Last thing, Teddy Grahams. I know that I used to eat a lot of Teddy Grahams and I'd make them kiss. And I think that's why I had a crush on Teenage Simba. Mmm, these are actually lovely. They're way less sweet than I remember. Mmm, yo, these are great. Oh, hell yeah, okay. Nine big comfy couches, hell yeah, dude. Oh my God, yum, okay. That was all the snacks that I wasn't sure if I still loved from childhood. And I'm happy to report that most of them are still very good. Some of them not. And you know, some of them almost made me cry. So it was a little bit of a roller coaster we were on together today. Thank you guys for joining. This was super, super fun. If you like this video or want to see more videos like it, please let me know in the comments below or on my Instagram, you can DM me. Yeah, dude, this was great. If you liked it, let me know. Give me suggestions for what else you might like to see. And also please make sure that you hit that like button that subscribe button, that bell notification to let you know when I post, and also share this video with somebody who you think might like it. And maybe try it with your friends. Get a bunch of snacks together that you guys used to eat and see if you still like them. <coughs> with that, I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.